Okay, my chat partner, so it is currently 9.51 a.m. Sunday morning. And I just got back from the grocery store and I wanted to do a grocery haul for you guys really quickly. So first things first, I got some mandarin oranges, some red grapes, bananas, turkey sausage, cranberry juice, two packs of corn on the cob, white grapes, vegan cheese, watermelon, applesauce, some boil in the bag rice, some skinny pop, some vegan cream cheese. I got some Arizona green tea, some frozen broccoli florets, some Zevia, cherry cola. You guys stop talking to my animals. Got some Asian medley, two packs of that, some four cheese pizza. I got some rice cakes, sweet potatoes. Got some avocados, some limes, strawberries, eggs, some more strawberries, some snacks for our dog, which she got some other snacks as well, but I put all that up. Got some blueberries, two packs of the plant-based tofu. Here's my two packs of water. Okay, my chat partners, so everything has been put up in its proper place. And I am, um, yeah. I know this looking a little rough, but I'm gonna use this banana for my smoothie for today. And that little oddball water back there, that's gonna be for my smoothie as well. I just wanted it to get a little chill and it's a half a bottle of water. So yeah, everything is put up now and put away. Okay, here is today's breakfast, which is a black bean patty and two boiled eggs. So here are the vitamins that I'm going to take after I eat my breakfast. I have my blood pressure pill, flaxseed oil, chlorophyll, and oil of oregano. Hello, my chat partners. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Dion. Please subscribe to my channel. And to my returning chat partners, I really appreciate you guys' support. So guys, that's my official introduction because <laughs> I've just been doing stuff. So I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone had a great weekend and a great week. Today is Sunday and today's video is a what I eat in a day video. Also Sunday reset. I just got done washing my hair. So now I'm going to put a treatment in my hair and then start getting dinner ready for the night. Oh, and if you are new to my channel, I have over 400 videos on my channel. Scroll around and check out some of my videos and subscribe. Yeah, show your girl some love. So guys, the reason why today's video is a Sunday reset, let me put my glasses back on because I can see y'all. God can't see y'all right now. So guys, today's video, mm-mm. I just shit, and that's why I gotta put a treatment in my okay. eyes. Um, that little spot on my phone was distracting me. Come on. Okay, now that's better. So, like I said, today's video is a what I eat in a day video and also a Sunday reset video. And the reason why I said it's a Sunday reset video, because guys, well, let me ask you guys this. Comment down below. Let me know if the new week starts off on a Sunday or if the new week starts off on a Monday. I always thought the new week started on a Monday. However, someone told me it starts on a Sunday. Y'all, I really need to dye my hair. I 
really, really, truly need to dye my hair. Like, seriously, because this gray is, like, really coming through. But anyway, guys, so today is the Sunday Reset video for me. And um, I just wanted to start off the new week or end the weekend off on a positive note for myself. It's just been a lot going on personally with my immediate family. And just some things have come to light for me and some things have really struck a light bulb in my head that Dion, you really need to get yourself together. You really need to take your health way more seriously than what you are taking it. And guys, I got on the scale today and I weighed 211.9. And to say the least, I was shocked because I didn't would not think that I weighed that. I weigh myself almost every day. So my weight will go up from 214, 215, 216, 218. It just be all over the Something major just happened recently and it just really woke me up. And I'm not sure if the reason why I weighed 211.9 today was because I haven't had an appetite and I haven't been eating like I should. I don't know if that's what it is or what, however. Either way, I'm going to flow off of it. It just really pay attention to my health, my life, physically, mentally, and spiritually. And just really put everything else on the back burner and just really focus on Dion. I'm going to really, really pay attention to what I eat, everything, exercising, just really get myself in the groove of, yo, this is your life. Lifestyle, Dion, cannot just be waking up, going to work, working and just doing the normal. No, your lifestyle needs to include waking up, taking care of you first, then work and all that other stuff. And guys, trust me, I know it's not so much as you just eating, eating, eating. A lot of times food can hold sodium and sodium can like hold a lot of water and stuff like that. And it can make you feel like it can cause bloatness and everything else. And it, the scale will show that you have gained weight when you're really not. It's just your body's retaining a lot of fluid from that sodium. So I am learning that. <clears throat> so today, I didn't have my first meal until 12. Well, after 12. And it's currently now like five something. So after I put this treatment in my hair, I am going to go downstairs and cook. And I am going to make sure that I eat before 8 o'clock because I'm going to eat between 12 and 8. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing for today. I might change it and start eating earlier. It just depends. I don't know. I just got to see. Like, But I am going to start eating at a certain time and cutting off when I do eat. I don't want to eat so many hours before I go to bed. Making sure I take my blood pressure medication. That's why I said I know... If I eat between 12 and 8, but I think I might eat earlier. That way I could take my blood pressure medication early in the day, in the morning time. So I can get in my system and get to work. Just make sure I incorporate my vitamins. Make sure I do some type of exercise a day, each day, even if it's something small. And I just want to send encouragement out to each and every one of you all watching my video. Stay positive. Stay focused. Stay in that grind mode for self-care, for self-love. Guys, I know we can sometimes be so consumed with life, just in general, when it comes to work, family, friends, relationships, social media, all that kind of stuff. All of that stuff, it can be a distraction. It can be a blocker. However, we have to make sure that we put self first. We have to take care of self. It's great to go out and have fun, do those things. It's nothing wrong with that. Just make sure you do something to show yourself that you love yourself and to just take care of yourself the best way you can. I know it can be hard at times. Life can be hard at times. And might not know which way we're going. We're going left, right, up, down. We might not know. However, we just got to realize all through life, there have been trials, storms, tribulations. It just seemed like everything is just going against you. Like nobody loves you. Sometimes you don't even feel like loving yourself. And it can be hard to maneuver through that. And it makes you feel worthless, not worthy, 
just not happy. You can just be in a dark, deep place. That's when you have to really sit back and just have faith for one in yourself and have faith in God. Just have faith that you're going to get through it. It's going to get better and this bad time don't last always. It might seem like it is, but it's not. And certain things might trigger you. However, when you find those things, those things or those moments are triggering you, just be like, you know what? I can get through this. I love myself. I'm going to be better than okay. I'm going to be great. And a lot of times, things can happen to us in our life and we be questioning, like, why is this happening to me? I am coming to learn that it's just something that's in your journey or a part of your journey to get you to your purpose. At the age I am right now, I'm still finding myself each and every day I wake up and I'm still learning something new every day. I don't know it all. I don't try to know it all. But what I do know is certain things that we may want or feel like we desire or we need. It could be a career. It could be a friendship. It could be a relationship. It could be a plethora of things, stuff with family. Maybe that dream or goal or desire you had Maybe it's for you, but maybe the timing isn't right. Or maybe it's what you think you want. However, you can get that goal accomplished and things might not go the way you want them to go, but it's just something that's leading to your purpose. Um, you know, and the way the world going now, y'all, just all this stuff happening, all this bad stuff happening, everything is can be somewhat a distraction. And we can be so invested in just other people's business or other people's life and what they got going on. Or, you know, why is this relationship that I have with this person not going right? Or just anything. But that's the time when we got to sit with self and be like, you know what? It's okay if it's meant for us to regroup and rehash and be together. It's going to happen, but it's going to happen at its own special time or when it's supposed to. And I just want to encourage everybody. I wish you all a peace of mind. It's something that's so, so important is having a peace of mind. And for the men out there, women too, if you was ever somebody who you had feelings or saw certain things and you felt like you shouldn't cry about it or was told not to cry about it, cry. Don't hold that stuff in. If you got to cry, cry. If you got to go outside and scream, scream. If you got to just do whatever you got to do to decompress, as long as you're not hurting anyone or hurting yourself, do it. So nothing wrong with crying, nothing wrong with screaming. You got to get that stuff out of you and just rest, rest your mind from out of the storm and just know things going to get better. Because if you keep dwelling on stuff and keep your focus on Oh, this this is going on in my life, or this, and this, and that. You let you letting that 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 negative defeat you. If you be like, you know what, I'm gonna sit this over here. I'm gonna pray about it, and what's gonna be, what's gonna be. I'm gonna say my affirmations to myself. I'm gonna keep uplifting myself because at the end of the day, I have to uplift, uplift ourselves. If don't nobody else uplift us, I just wish everybody peace, love, and happiness. And, yeah, I just wanted to say. Okay, my chat partner. So now I am going to cook dinner for tonight. And it is currently 540. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some sweet Italian turkey sausage, some white potatoes, onions, and bell pepper.